SNB product. SNB product. Today, our yes. SNB product, msx125accessories.com fairings for a SF Grum. Yes. Yes, that. So like I said, I bought these from msx125accessories.com. Uh, they're a company in Thailand, I want to say. I can't remember offhand. Pretty sure it's Thailand. That makes sense. They do a lot of scooter stuff. Yeah, they do Thailand, a lot of small bike. Asia. Yeah, exactly. A lot of small bike stuff. Um, they were $75 with another $75 ship, or like 60 bucks. I also got the faster shipping, which takes, they say they say the faster shipping is gonna take two weeks and it usually gets here in like three days. So I'm definitely not complaining about that. Right. Cause I like getting stuff quick. So yeah, all together, just say they're about 150 bucks shipped. They are red. My bike is red. They're not quite the same, yeah, right? They don't quite match. You can. They're not quite I'm, the same. I'm hoping right. the camera is picking this up, but it's. I'm sure it will be because this is definitely a lot brighter. Yeah, the Grom is like a deeper red, and this is more of like a fluorescent. And, red. and like we talked about, you can easily see the metallic right here yeah. in the paint. You can see that metallic right yeah, there versus the and then flatness of right these. Here. Yeah, it's popping a lot more. Yeah, definitely is. Which is, it's not bad. You actually can't really tell when there's not direct sun on it. Well, realistically, it's just not that relevant. It's it's a Grom. You know, it's a tiny bike. It's meant to just have fun with. And for the price point, it's like you. And I think they just look cool. You know, they look great. They look really good. Installation on them was actually really simple. They came with uh, some self tappers to go into the plastics up here and here. Which, if you don't know how to put self tappers in, you just self tap them. Or self tap that B. <laughs> they also came with brackets. They mount onto the lower side of the clutch cover over here. And then they came with another part to mount yeah. another screw into. Very common, like under under uh, brackets, body bracket. Yeah, exactly. Thing like the SV650 was very similar with the yeah. spoiler. Yeah, I definitely believe it. They do have an option just to have a lower belly pan, but I think that looks a little weird. I, I like I belly pans on on naked bikes. I um, I don't mind but it. But I think this overall I think this looks, looks a lot better. better. Yeah. If I was going to get an OG Grom, I think a belly pan would be a much better choice on an OG Grom. Yeah. Whereas the SF is a little more sporty. If, yeah, if you had a circle headlight, then I would say belly pan yeah. only. So, I don't though. It did come with a little belly pan vent down here, which is adorable. I don't think it does anything. Yeah. It's uh, just for looks. <laughs> so Fitment, how do you feel about it? Fitment's not bad. There's a couple little areas, which I will show you right now, where it's a little not that great, but also, you're never going to see it. And if you follow the line here, you can see there's a little bit, a little bit of space. But again, it's pretty close. And then yeah. well, for for the price seventy five dollars really fairings from Thailand, I really am not upset about it at all. I do like that they did the matte black. Yeah. In some areas, it's not just poorly finished that way. Right. Um, they're seventy five dollars fairings, and they look pretty cool. Yeah. That's, Overall, That's good really mod. what it comes down to. Yeah. They are a little thin, but I really don't think that's that relevant. I, yeah, I don't think it's a problem. If for that price point, if, if they shatter, I just buy you another just set. buy another set. I won't be that upset. Yeah. And I don't really think I'm gonna break them. We'll find out. I mean, the, the bigger question- Are they flimsy? The they're, no, like if you pull them, they're really not that- No, they're, they're pretty- They feel pretty solid. They feel like, is. you know what they feel like? They feel like uh, Chinese aftermarket fairings, which are, are actually surprisingly good. Yeah. We're so, gonna do a review on some um, 600RR aftermarket fairings at some point in That's the future. Cool. You could tell me these uh, things. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I'm <laughs> concerned about with these is I want to get the Kotaku side cover, and that's a little bit bigger than this guy here. And I want to get the TST Womit Tech so you can frame fill out sliders. That engine a little bit, yeah. Yeah, one, and the, the frame sliders sit about here. So you do definitely wide. get that big gap. Right I might here. have to modify this a little bit to fit the frame sliders, but oh, we'll really? find out okay. when. Yeah, we'll find out when I do it, um, realistically. Right. And yeah, but other than that, you know, for a stock engine with an exhaust, they fit fine. Fantastic. I was kind of worried about the exhaust, but no, there's tons of space and clearance. And no, it looks great. Yeah, buy some for your Grom because. Why wouldn't you?
expensive. Yeah. Well, they're just they're just so cheap and they look so good. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it look like a little Street Fighter. Yeah. If you have some on like Instagram, tag us some pictures of them at Balance Point Media. Yes. Because like I want to see do. other ones that they might have. Yeah, because it was kind of hard to find pictures of these. That's our video for these side fairings. Stay tuned for more SMB reviews. products. SMB products, MSX125 accessories. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Side fairings for the Grom. Stay tuned for more reviews. We're going to do uh, stuff on the exhaust and the levers TSTM and the undertail. And all kinds of that fun will stuff. all be coming soon. Let us know what you think of this Grom in the comments down below. If you like Groms, hate Groms, or whatever. If you, you hate this Grom and you think it looks really stupid, by all means let me know and I'll tell you how wrong you are. Yeah, I, I would have to disagree <laughs> with you too. I think it's actually pretty, pretty for cool. For a Grom, I think it's a really good looking bike. Yeah. But uh, leave a comment down below and please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.